Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders 2. Okay, so uh, I apologize for it being a couple of days since I last uploaded this. And it's because I just simply haven't played it in a couple of days because I've been very busy with real life things, I'm afraid. Obviously, YouTube is just a hobby for me at the moment. And I don't really earn money off of it. So I have my real job to worry about. As much as I wish I didn't. Where the hell's my gun? Did we not get the gun? I guess we didn't. Could have sworn we did. The hell? What do I know? Okay, so anyway, we are on our way to the cauldron to restore the fires so that the makers can make us this key. And our ultimate goal is to get past that big evil tree eye looking thing to get to the tree of life, which is up there and looks fucking awesome. And obviously, uh, we have to do a few things before we can do that because we ultimately have to awake the guardian, which is a large man made of stone. This was all explained in the last part, but I'm just making it more clear in case anyone's not familiar with the lore and the storyline and everything. Uh, for now, I'm going to follow the uh, main quest pretty tight. But after that, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of the side stuff. I'm not going to go all the way through the main quest in one go, but when we've got a, a good amount done so that we've unlocked a, f a decent amount of items. I the, way the way this game works is there's um, quite a few objects uh, that you need to be able to progress in certain dungeons. And if you don't have those, then you just can't do certain side missions until you do. So, uh... I'm going to go until we get enough gear to be able to do a lot of the bonus side stuff, you know, so that we don't just get stuck pointlessly. And once we've got some of that and we've got a bit of the main storyline done, then I'll go do some side stuff and we'll sort of go between the side stuff and the main stuff. I'm hoping to 100% run this. I didn't 100% last time, and that was really annoying that I couldn't hit that dude whilst he was coming out of the ground. Uh, yeah, I did not 100% last time, not even close. So there's still a lot of things that, are, that I'm going through blind here. But uh, most of the dungeons I know the puzzles and have the way they work and everything. So, um, but yeah, I'm kind of forgetful, so it's entirely possible I will get stuck and won't just breeze through everything. But... Hopefully I won't get stuck long enough for it to not be entertaining. As long as it's entertaining, then I don't care. So this is kind of a small side dungeon type of thing, and I do mean small. There's more stuff you can do here, but again, this is what I was talking about with needing extra equipment that we don't have yet. So, uh, for now I'm going to get what we can, which consists of loot. And then... Whoa, dodgy camera. Then we'll return here later to finish off what we can do now. That's good. We'll wear that. Well, it's it's good relative relative to our level. In the grand scheme of things, it's absolutely god awful. But it's the best thing we have right now. There's a lot of freaking health potions coming out of these. I apologize about me destroying all the pottery, but it's kind of essential. You get a lot of health potions, as you can see. You get money. You can sometimes find boatman coins and stuff. So, yeah kind of important. I think there might be a boatman coin down here. I'm just going to check. Again, I, I did this through once. It's a big game. There's a lot of stuff to do and a lot of collectibles and stuff. So there's things I'm not going to plainly remember where they are and things I haven't even discovered. So Okay, so um, I'm thinking about buying Dark Souls. I was very put off from buying it because it's a piss poor port. Uh, my main problem is losing save data with games for Windows Live, but I do believe the guy who has released the uh, 1080p fix for it has actually changed it so that you can recover your save data. Is there anything down this path that I'm missing, or do you see up there? There's like a, an item you need to create portals. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm spoiling anything for you here, but there, there was the same thing in the first game, so it shouldn't really be that much of a spoiler. Uh, and it kind of works exactly like the portal gun from um, Portal. So, uh, yeah, even when you get it, you unlock an achievement called Can I Has Cake, or I Can Has Cake, or whatever, something like that. So, yeah, you know, it's it's like an intentional rip-off? I don't, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for here, but, yeah, it's, it's intentional. 
exactly like the way the port gun works. So we can't get up there for now. I was just seeing if there's any any more boatman coins or whatever down there. Anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, the guy who released the 1080p fix for Dark Souls has just updated it so that you can now have multiple saves. Hopefully that will stop me losing my save data. And that, and that is the thing that I'm worried about. It's not a price issue. It's not 30 frames a second. And it's definitely not 1080p. Excuse me, I just smacked my control pad on the desk. Yeah, it's not 1080p either because quite clearly he's already fixed that as I mentioned. But um, yeah, I just don't want to lose my save data in, in a game that's long and difficult. Yeah, I, I imagine that would just be the worst thing imaginable. I imagine. Imagine, imagine, imagine. I keep saying imagine. Booty? Yes. I've got that for now. Ah, oh, almost made it. Oh, hello. Okay, that was close. Kind of an accidental dodge there, but I'll take it. This is no place for a horse. Yeah, I'm not worried about the horse. I forgot to hockey this. Mm, here we go. Trying to remember the damn controls because it's been so long since I played this. Die. Yeah, so um, I'm going to look more into that over the next day or two. And if it looks like that will solve my problem, then I will probably be getting Dark Souls and doing a let's play of that. If anyone is interested in that, I hope you are. But you never know. Maybe no one wants to see it. Let me know in the comments if you're watching now. Uh, if you would be interested in seeing a Dark Souls Let's Play, it would be completely blind. I mean, I've seen gameplay of the first... I don't know... Five minutes of the game. Beyond that, I know absolutely jack shit about it. I know it's hard. Why am I going in this door? I'm not supposed to be going in this door. See, I'm getting distracted whilst I'm talking. We opened this one. This is the one we need to go in. Wait, this is where we just came out, isn't it? Yeah, we did a loop. Okay. Getting distracted. So, as I was saying, um, yeah, let me know if you do want to see a Dark Souls Let's Play. If you'd be interested in that. So, I'd be very interested in making one. I've really only seen footage of the first literally five minutes of the game. And, like, an odd clip here or there. I, I know not how to beat any of the monsters or any tactics or anything like that. So, it would be. 99.9% .9 blind, shall we say. So, if your thing is you like watching guys die on Dark Souls a lot, I can imagine you'd enjoy that. Okay, Volgrim should be up here. This is our friend that I mentioned earlier. In an e earlier video, anyway. Yo! Hurry up. Over here. Over here. Greetings, Greetings. And welcome. Thank you. I've been expecting you. <laughs> Vulgrim. Vulgrim. What brings you crawling out of the shadows? <laughs> I wouldn't want to lose my most valuable customer. Not to what lurks at the edge of shadow. Bro, I'm death. So here I am to offer my way. Well, as long as you're not offering prostitution, because you know I'm not interested. I'm not here by choice, demon. I merely followed the trail of carnage. Your blades are as sharp as ever. No, I bet. Even still, I may be able to help you. Really? I carry things others would frown upon. Go on, take a look. You won't be disappointed. Do you have like illegal explosives or something? I have new items. Respect. If you have the call. Respect. Yeah, this um, this one right here is bugged. It should not have that description. It should say um, I can't even remember. I can't even remember. I think it just says legacy box. But um, since the last patch, they kind of botched that, and it's got like the uh, the technical name for it. So uh, yeah, don't pay attention to that. Uh, that allows you to reset all of your um, skill points. Obviously, we don't need to use that yet. I've only used like one skill point. And you can buy um, these, which give you a random item of the level. You need boatman coins for all of these. 20 for one of those, which you'll get a uh, random possessed weapon from. And possessed are some of the best weapons in the game. Another those and the legendaries. Demon. 
Until then, perhaps you'll grant me a small indulgence. I'm not touching your dick. There are pages missing from the Book of the Dead. I believe many lie along your path. If you bring them to me, your reward will be substantial. Does it mean you'll so touch my dick? My damnation. Okay, so, um, enough fucking around. <laughs> he wants the Book of the Dead pages. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil what you get as a reward from that. Because I don't want to spoil things. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it, you get some good stuff from it. So we are gonna be on the lookout for those. They are collectibles just like anything else. They're in set places, you know, it's not random or anything. Um, again, I found... I think... I think there is 10 in each area because there's 40 pages total and uh, this is one of the areas if I bring up the map I can show you just kind of how big this is where the hell am I I'm here right here this is the area I'm in now and this is what I've come through no I didn't come from that direction I'm lying I came through this direction that was the weeping crag all I've really done is I came along here and here I am. This map is freaking massive. This is just one of the areas. There's a second one that's as big as this and then there's two more that are fairly small. I'm not going to spoil what they are or anything, don't worry. But uh, yeah, what I'm saying is I think there's 10 pages in each of the four areas and I think I only found nine uh, on my first play, well, my only playthrough so far. I think I only found nine in the first area, which was kind of annoying. But I think I actually know where the tenth page is, because... What the hell is that? We'll equip that. Oh, the Possessed! Awesome! So now I get to show you what Possessed weapons do. We are not going to... Can we equip the pauldrons? No, not yet. Apparently these pauldrons you get for... Um, some kind of achievement on the first game, and if you have the save data for that, then you get given those. Apparently I did that. Uh, where's our possessed weapon? Here. So what the deal with these is you can upgrade them by feeding them old gear. And you see it's got an XP bar there. And I believe when you level it up, whatever weapon... Whatever the abilities on the weapon that you last level it up with, there's one of those things you can shoot. We can't do that yet. I'll explain that when we get there. But when we get the gun, we can shoot those and collect them. Anyhow. Uh, whatever weapons abilities uh, that you level it up last with so whatever weapon grants it the the actual level rather than just the XP towards the level say that weapon has uh, health on hit so when you hit an enemy you get some health uh, you'll be able to give that ability to your possessed weapon amongst other things it sounds complicated but it's not I'm just not great at explaining it and I do apologize for that hey I'm not an English teacher here's another boatman coin that was close. Just face planted the wall. Excellent. See, so yeah, I'm going to be fighting all these dudes out here because we need the XPs. Oh crap. Not enough for us. Give me that money. We need booty as well. You obviously get loot every single chest. Um, every chest I've ever opened, unless it's like a, a key enough chest or whatever, will always give you at least one item, sometimes more. But uh, you can also get loot from regular enemies. You, you're not likely to get it from enemies that are this easy, but you can do. It's obviously nowhere near a guarantee, though. Uh, the, the, the better the enemy, the more likely you are to get gear. And from what I've seen, you always get gear relative to your level. For example, this possessed weapon you'll see on the right down there, it says level 2. Because my character is level 2. Uh, when I get to... Um, say level 25 or whatever, I think 30 is the max level and I would get a level 25 uh, scythe, possessed scythe or whatever Let's pick that up just to feed it to our weapon also we could sell that for uh, coins which I think is referred to as guilt in this G-I-L-T kind of reminds me of Gil from Final Fantasy oh Final Fantasy how I miss that game why am I out of wrath potions? I thought I had tons, apparently not uh, what the hell was I saying? Yeah, we can sell uh, things for guilt, but we can also feed them to our possessed weapons. You can only level a possessed weapon up a certain amount of times. Okay, this is one of the examples of what I was saying. That right there, you need an item. 
as we've got the dead page. Do we have to run it? Oh crap! Let's kill these first and then I'll explain. Bring it on, dude. Okay. Anyhow. Now we'd be able to run along that wall, grab onto that, and then give us momentum. We don't have the item to do that, so we can't. Very simple. But as you progress further in the story, you'll get items like that. So I'm going to wait until i got at least a couple of those, so we can actually do a decent amount of exploring. Until then, I'm going to be mostly sticking to the main quest, but I'll be at least picking up side quests as I go along, because I know where you get most of them. And we'll be doing what we can. And that's all I really can do. See, so come along there, go around there. I think that just gets you to a chest, because you can see it on the map if you look down there. The map, uh, the chest is marked off on the map. I think that's all you get out of that, but... Chests are good. Never underestimate chests, especially the female variety. Boobs. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we are supposed to be going this way, I believe. I'm going to check out this top run. Yeah, tree in the way. Go okay, check out this top left corner. I do this very quickly. And I'll kill these couple of dudes on the way back. See, there's a, it's kind of like another temple thing here. Again, I think we need items to get through here. I don't think we can actually progress. No, we can't. Not yet. But I will smash these open. Ah, there's a chest. Well, it was worth coming in here then. Open sesame. See, Def's a lazy motherfucker. He gets his, uh, reperform to open things for him. My kind of guy. I think we can go through here. I'm confused. I don't think this leads anywhere yet. Or does it? See, I don't even remember. Okay, no. Yeah, the gate's shut. As I suspected. Apologize if you hear any clicking, you know I am playing this with a uh, 360 pad, so Oop, missed some coins. I'm sure someone with OCD was going crazy over that. I share your pain. I have very bad OCD. Certain things I absolutely have to do. And I do mean have to do. Stop it. Oh yes, when the B button comes up, or whatever button for whichever pad or keyboard you are using, that means you can perform an execution. They don't come up that often, I think there's weapons and possibly armors and stuff that can give you a higher chance of an execution popping up. I think I'm not positive on that, don't quote me on that. So yeah, this guy's gonna die. And those little green things that come out, they are health, because that ability gives me health when I smack enemies, aha, leveled up, excellent. Let's use our skill point. What do we want? Um, do I want that so that it deals more damage and heals more? Or do I want the possibility of the... You know what, we'll go with that for now. The other one is just um, enemies can get set on fire from it. Which I actually think this would just do more damage than the fire would, so... And that's just a chance of being set on fire. There's another boatman coin up there. They must have it. I Uh -huh. I love the art design in this game. It reminds me a lot of Kingdoms of Amalur or Kingdom of Amalur. I don't even know the actual name of that game. Hello, how's it going? I want that Scythe, get out the damn way. I really want that Scythe. It's actually better than our Possessed Woman. Uh, possessed Woman? What the fuck am I talking about? Possessed Scythe at the moment. Wow, where did I get Possessed Woman from? That's weird. I hear someone coming at me. Come at me, bro. I hear someone stomping around. There you are. Bring it on, dude. Okay, what was I saying before Possessed Woman? Yeah, this is actually better than I possess Scythe at the moment because... Until you level Possess we Weapons up. That was it. I nearly said Possess Weapon, but it come out as Possess Woman for some reason. Anyway! When you level possessed weapons up, they become decent, but before you level them up, they're kind of crappy. So, uh, for now I'm going to equip this. Ah, oh, you prick. 
And trust me, this game gets a lot freaking harder. I remember when I came through and was fighting these enemies the first time. I was like, oh wow, these are easy. Yes, they are. The game gets just borderline ridiculous as an execution. The game gets borderline ridiculously difficult, but in a good way. Uh, towards the end. Even towards the middle. For the first little bit of the game, it's bound to be easy, just like it is in most games, unless you're playing Dark Souls. So, I feel like I missed something around here, so I'm just going to double check. Maybe I didn't, actually. That was where the boatman coin was. I think I got the chest. Let's kill this dude. Yes, you can charge the enemies with your horse. You can fight from horseback. Uh, but, just like... It's kind of like Skyrim combat, honestly. I mean, you can just sort of swing your main weapon. In this case, just to one side. It does quite a bit of damage, and you can use your charge attack on the enemies. If I just show you here. It's it's okay, but that happens. You get smacked once or twice, and you end up coming off the board, so... I don't know, it's a lot more fun to not fight on horseback and it's a lot more practical so I just don't bother. But the option's there if you really want to. Although I don't know why you would. But it's nice that it's there. There's another chest near. Yes, I believe there's also something again in here that... Oh, okay. You hit me there, didn't you? I believe there's something in here that um, we again probably need an item to get to it. Maybe not though, but maybe. I think we have to run up this wall, yes. Took me a while to figure out what the hell to do in here the first time. Yep, there's another thing up there we can shoot. That was probably what I was thinking of. Because we don't have the gun yet, and when you get the gun you can shoot those things. The gun's kind of crappy for combat again. I'm probably not really spoiling anything by saying that you get a gun, I mean, it was in the demo and everything. Impossible. Okay, we got a new secondary weapon. Can I use this potion? Yes, I can. Let's pick that up. Okay. So, uh, yes, we have claws now. They have, obviously, different moves. And this giant thing here, we can use that for a side quest later. If you want me to say less spoilers, just let me know in the comments, but I, I'm, I'm keeping the big stuff, you know, I'm not I'm not just going to spoil everything for you. I'm just kind of uh, explaining things, or at least I'm trying to. I mean, you know, all I've really mentioned is like the gun and stuff like that, so... Pretty much I've only really tried to mention things that were already explained in the demos and the previews and all that, so... If you saw them, then none of this will be news to you. I do prefer the claws. Whoops, we need that. Where did it go? Ah. Uh -huh. That is a glaive. Again, that's another secondary weapon. Let's, let's equip that. So you can very big, powerful, and you can do stabbing motions, which I find tend to miss unless you lock on. You can lock on. And that was not a good example. I'm sure you've noticed by now that I don't lock on when I fight. Just because I prefer not to have the black bars and the the weird controlness, because it kind of you're, the way you move your character is very different to when you're not locked on. I like the f I like the freedom of movement of not being locked on. But you know, again, that's a playstyle thing. Some people will lock on for absolutely everything. It's just personal preference. Just like whether you like boys or girls. And I am not saying anything. That's your choice. I think we are almost at our destination. Stop, bro. I do not know why I got. I do not know why I got on the horses then, but I did. Maybe I was button mashing. It's possible. Right. See, I don't know, when you don't lock on, you just seem to miss with that stab every damn time. Kind of annoying. Uh, maybe when you lock on as well. Hey, there we go. You're dead. Anyone else? I guess not. Is that a chest? Yes, it is. Let's go get the chest. Bring it on. Bring it on. 
think I want the claws back. Let's equip the claws. And let's feed some stuff to our possessed weapon. We could feed it that. I don't know if that would level it up. Uh, where is it? Oh, we can't do it because it's equipped. God damn it, that's annoying. Okay, upgrade. No, it would get us about half of a level. Right, let's not do that for now. We'll hold on to this until we have enough stuff to level that up. And I, after all that, forgot to equip the damn gauntlets. There we go. Again, I apologize if the, like my constant um, flipping is annoying you. Equip those. This. I apologize if that's annoying you, but this guy runs freaking slow. I mean, look at him, look. Uh, so slow. It's like much faster to flip around. I know it's probably kind of annoying to look at, but... Think of it this way. What's more annoying to look at? Me going somewhere ten times slower than if I just flipped. Or flipping. I'd go with the slowness, but that's just me. Another thing up there we can shoot. It's annoying seeing these things that we can't do. There's not that much backtracking that you have to do in the game. In fact, there's pretty much none. There's like a fast travel option and everything. But um, you're encouraged to backtrack if you want to unlock uh, special stuff. You know, legendary weapons and special dungeons with unique bosses and all that type of crap. You will not find most of that unless you backtrack with the proper equipment and search around. I think there is a Bowman coin right here, yes. Okay, where are we going? Probably down. And this way, yes. I see a chest on the map, where is it? Oh. Whee! There's another thing there we can shoot. And we get a new weapon, which is actually pretty damn powerful, apparently. Uh, yeah, we'll equip that. It looks different. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of different looking weapons and stuff in this. Um... It's not like in most games where you equip something, not like, you know, you know, if you played an MMO, and most of the time you'll equip something, and it will look exactly the same as what you were wearing before. Rarely does that happen in this. There's a lot of different looking gear, and a lot of it looks very, very cool. I'm very impressed with the art in this game. I mean, I already mentioned that, but it needs to be said, and it needs to be said a lot. Graphically, this game looks fucking awesome, and I love it. It's not a graphical masterpiece from a technical perspective, like textures and things like that, but the art design, I think, is just fucking brilliant. There's not many games that have this good art design. Holy crap. We have arrived. Is there anything over here? No, there's death that way. Let's not go that way. And Briar's again. Need a hand? Rumble! Ah. I love how I equipped those claws and then immediately got a uh, big hammer. So I never got to use them again. We'll get more, don't worry. Is that all you've got? Ha ha! The tales be true. A rider has come to the realm. Not another one. You're the Nephilim. The one they call death. You've been racist. How did you get here? Took a wrong turn. It appears I'm stranded here with the rest of you. If you seek the cauldron, you should know that it fell to corruption fair long ago. I can still feel the fire itself rumbling deep in the earth. I'll take my chances. And who are you? No different than the others. Less pleasant on the eyes, for one. <laughs> I could say no less for you. Folks around town call me Pup or Lad, but I prefer my own name, Calm. Pup it is, then. As you will. Matters not to me. It's amazing how much like me this deaf guy is. I fucking love him. Anyway, um, yeah, this is the guy we need to talk to about the Shaman's Craft quest that the blind chick with the massive knockers told us about. Your shaman has offered me a talisman if I bring her the materials. You'd be wise to accept, then. Her craft is mighty powerful. 
Where do I find Stalker's bone? You'll find Stalker's prowling the cauldron. Should be simple work if your name is any indication. <laughs> Fair point. Why not restore the fire yourself? I came here just for that purpose. Figured I'd pop the cork, so to speak. Be the hero. But the cauldron is locked up well and tight, and the way through is swallowed by fire. You look capable enough. Perhaps you can find a way. I'll wait here and guard the entrance. You do that, you big lug. Ooh, stuff. We can't take that potion. Okay, on to the cauldron, our first real dungeon of the game. Just as soon as I get this chest. Yes. What's this? Yeah, they suck. Let's feed them to the possessed ones. Where is it? Upgrade. Eat it. And eat that. And they suck. Eat those as well. You know, I don't want the glaive either. And I will keep the gauntlets. And we are definitely keeping all of our... You know, we don't need the hammer either. Why am I not giving the hammer? We have a better hammer equipped. I'm keeping all of the unique items. Because I am a collector and I hoard things. Anyway, next episode, we are going to do our first real dungeon, The Cauldron.